Critics often say that TM is really no different to resting. It certainly looks restful, but could there be something else going on in the brain that makes TM different? I decided to see for myself. We've come to Sydney's Brain and Mind Research Institute to put TM to the test. Dr Andrew Kemp is a neurophysiologist and an expert at interpreting electroencephalograms or EEGs. He's able to see whether the electrical activity in the brain is different during rest and transcendental meditation. Tanya, I'll just get you to close your eyes for us now. During rest, we expect to see the alpha brain waves in the posterior or back of the brain. So you can clearly see these regular strong bursts of alpha act activity occurring in the posterior parts of the brain in comparison to the frontal part of the brain. Hi Tanya, can you enter your, your meditative state now? After 10 minutes of transcendental meditation, the EEG began to change dramatically. Look, we're observing increased alpha in the posterior region as well as the frontal regions at the same time. It's nicely synchronised. It's a completely different EEG trace to what we're observing during the eyes open, eyes closed dates. So resting is certainly different to doing transcendental meditation. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the first times that I've seen that. 